Frédéric Chopin. The composer I've studied at great length had the honor to go to Poland many years ago and compete in the International Chopin Competition, have devoted years of my life to only the works of Chopin. I've been to his birthplace in Zelazowola, Poland, and also to visit his heart, which is in Paris. I love his music, and it has so much freedom. So I wanted to really dive into the romantics here because you're going to hear it. It's very obvious. It's so obvious that there's a term that pianists use that is called Chopin Roboto. Roboto is a give and take of tempo. It's a little bit like a rubber band that you stretch the tempo in one place and then you give it back in another and you stretch again, you give it back in another and it's all over the music of Chopin. Chopin was one of the first, if not the only, composer to write almost exclusively for piano. He wrote a few chamber music pieces, a few pieces for flute, a few other pieces, but most of his repertoire was for piano, and he was a very renowned performing concert pianist as well. He wrote, there are ballades, which is basically, or four ballads, which is basically a very lyrical melody that keeps developing. A scherzo, we'll talk about that a little bit later, four scherzi. Many, a whole book of nocturnes, three sonatas, 24 preludes, two concerti, etudes, 24 etudes, which is which were studies meant to be designed to build a pianist technique, but also meant to be performed. There, there's so many more works. I'm going to demonstrate two that I think you'll hear the rubato the most in. He wrote four ballads. This is one of the themes from the G minor, the first ballad. And you're going to just listen for a lot of give and take, a lot of places where I take you over the top of the phrase. And, and let me demonstrate how I want it to sound first. I might give an example of how you don't want it to sound also. But I want you to just really hear this first. Even that melody, if I played it like it was classic, it would sound... That's not Chopin. Chopin is a lot of give and take. Long, then stretch it and move. Then take your time. gives you a little idea of something that's really obvious of where there's the Chopin rubato. And rubato in general was very popular in this romantic period. If you played that and applied it to a Beethoven, to Mozart, Haydn, it just wouldn't work at all. But it works beautifully in romantic music. <laughs> 